When I ask grade 12s what they find the most difficult about maths lit, many of them will say to me, oh, those tax tables. We don't like the tax tables. Well, if you feel like that, no more stress. Don't worry about it because I'm here to help you. I'm going to show you now in some easy steps how to um, calculate any calculations related to tax tables. So next time when your teacher says there's going to be a tax table in the test, you're going to say yes, because you know you're going to nail it. And please watch carefully because there's some things that have changed regarding tax and the CAPS document has also changed and some textbooks are incorrect. So please listen very carefully right to the end. Now, if you look at this um, tax table, you will see that um, yeah, you've got taxable income and the rate of tax, you've got rebates, and then you've also got a tax threshold. I'm going to show you now how to work through each one of them, but they change from year to year, so you don't have to learn them, you don't have to memorize anything. Here are the steps that I've got for you, and these are very valuable. When you um, At the end of the video, I'm going to put them up again, and then you can copy them down or take a screenshot just to be, um, keep them um, handy when you're working out any um, calculations. First of all, you've got to determine the annual salary of, from the question. So look at the question. If they say monthly um, salary is this, then obviously you have to multiply by 12. But you have to work out the annual salary, and then you subtract the pension, the annual pension. If you're working with annual salary, it must be subtracting the annual pension. And only then do you use your tax tables. Some learners want to rush in and start using the tax table. No, 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 no. First subtract the pension and then you start with the tax table. The next thing you have to do is look at the tax threshold and then you select the tax bracket. I'm going to go through all of these slowly with you just now. Then you do your calculation using the tax bracket and then only after that do you subtract the rebates. And that includes the annual MTC, the medical tax credits. That only gets subtracted at the end and then if it's annual tax you have to work out, you leave it like that, but be careful, they sometimes say monthly tax, then you have to divide by 12. Okay, so let's work through a question now to sh and, and see how we apply these different steps in the question. Yeah, in the blue you can see Sam is 68 years old, he received an income of 540,000 for the 2018-2019 tax year, he paid monthly contributions towards a medical scheme for himself and his wife, as well as a monthly pension of 7.5% of his salary. The question says, calculate his monthly income tax for the 2018-29 tax year. And you get a question like that, but then on, you can see on the right-hand side, I've got a lot of tables there. Don't worry about them right now, but those tables are what you would normally be given in your um, in your uh, test or exam. Right, if you look at this question now, Sam is 68 years old and receives an income of 540,000 for the 2018-29 tax year. So now his annual salary we can see is 20, uh, 540,000. So I'm just gonna write it here for us so that we can keep it in mind. There we are. So now we've done step one. We don't have to multiply by 12 or anything like that because we've got the annual salary. Then we have to subtract annual pension. And if you look at the question, it says he paid monthly contributions towards a medical scheme for himself and his wife, as well as a monthly pension of 7.5% of his salary. So we um, can work out 7.5% of the um, Let's see, seven and a half percent of his um, salary. So that's naught comma naught seven five times five hundred and forty thousand, and that will equal forty thousand five hundred. That's his pension. And now the step says we must subtract the annual pension from his salary. So we take his and his um, salary which is 540,000 and we minus the 40,000 which is his pension and we get an answer of 499,500. So that is his taxable 
income. We're working to find his taxable income because when we've got his taxable income, then we can um, use the tax table. So don't do anything until you've subtracted the pension. Then we go to the tax table. Now, if we look at the tax table over here, we can move to ta um, uh, uh, and the tax threshold table, we can do step three. Step three says check the tax threshold. Now, if you don't know what a threshold is, maybe you should watch my first video on tax where I explained all the different terms. That'll help you. But just to tell you now that a tax threshold is like a limit. And if he goes over that limit, then he has to start paying tax. If somebody had a, a, a tax a income of, let's say, 50,000 Rand, they are under the 78,150 mentioned over here in the um, tax threshold table. If it's under 78,000, then he doesn't have to pay tax. If it's over, then he has to. He is 65 years and um, older. He's older than 65, but under 75. So he falls into this bracket. And if we look at the amount to the right of that, it says 103,250. And he earns way more than that. So he has to pay tax. So now we're going to go and look at which tax bracket he falls into. His, his taxable income is 499,500. I'm just putting it here to remind you. So if you look at that, if that's his taxable income, then he will fall into this tax bracket. And then we're going to, we're going to use, because he's, the amount 499,500 falls between the two numbers on the left of that green line that I've drawn here. And to the right of it, you'll see there's a little formula and we have to use that formula. So on the next slide, I'm going to actually show you how to set it all out. Okay, so 499,500. I'm just keep putting it here so we don't forget. That is his taxable income and this is the bracket that we're going to be using. So we're going to write taxable, tax payable, sorry, tax payable, equals 100,263 Rand plus, let's make a nice bracket so that we keep things together, 36% of, and now it's the amount um, of the taxable income above 423,300. So we're going to have to take the taxable income of 499,500 Subtract 423,300 and then just carry everything down again, 100,263 Rand plus. Now 36% we can write as 0, 0,36 times and then we subtract those two numbers in the bracket. And we get an amount of 76,200. 76,200. I hope you're managing to follow me as I go along. If not, then please go back and just check where, where you've um, lost track of what I'm doing. If we work out 0,36 times 76,200, we get an amount of 27,432. Add those two together and we get an amount of 127,695 Rand. I'm going to put a comma zero zero because I like to do that in my final answer if I haven't done it earlier. Put the cents in as well. Now, this is the tax payable before, before that discount, eh? before the rebates. So we still have to work out our rebates. We haven't worked out our rebates yet. And now on the next slide, I'm going to show you how to work out the rebates. Because we have to subtract the rebates from the 127,695. So we've, we've got the, um, I'm just going to put the amount here. Um, before rebates, it was the tax payable. Just remember, it's before the rebates is 127,695. 
but we still have to subtract the rebates to get the real tax payable. So I'm going to write here 127,695 minus whatever we work out now. So the rebates are going to be worked out like this. We've got, first of all, you must look at, the, at this over here. And you'll see there's a primary rebate, a secondary rebate, and a tertiary rebate. Now, a, the primary rebate is 14,000. And 67 so he has to he will get that discount and because he's 65 years and older he also gets 7,713 rand plus even nicer he gets the MTC the medical tax credits or yeah they call it the medical scheme tax rebates but that's the MTC so all of that gets um, it forms part of the rebate so we've got the 14,067 plus 7,713 plus, now let's work out the MTCs. For the taxpayer who paid the medical scheme contributions, that's the main one, main person, that's Sam, 310 Rand. And then for the first dependent, also 310 Rand. And his wife, if you look over here, he paid for himself and his wife. So, um, we have to um, take it times two, and then we can just put that in brackets. And then it says um, that this is monthly, and we have to work out annually. So per month, we're going to have to take the 310 times two times 12. And I'll just close the bracket there for that little calculation. Let's see now. 14,067. It takes a while to work out these tax um, calculations, but if you just work carefully and double check yourself, you'll do well. Don't worry. Then we take the last little bit, the MTCs, 310 times 2 is 620 times 12, and then we get an answer of 7,000. Let me write it in here 7,440. Add that all together. And we get a nice big amount of 29,220. And that is his um, discount or his, the rebates that, is, that we allow to subtract from the, um, the tax payable up here. So we're going to say minus 20, um, what's it, 29,220 Rand. Let's see what we get. If we calculate that, we get an answer of. 98,475 Rand. But, but, remember this is annually. And what does the question say? Calculate his monthly income tax. Right, so I'm running out of space. So we're going to write your monthly. It equals... 98,475 Rand divided by, I'm going to do it like this, divide by 12, and we get an answer here of 8,206 Rand and 25 cents. And that's his monthly tax payable. Right, so yeah, on the last slide, I've put all the steps again for you. Like I said at the beginning, you can take a screenshot, you can um, copy this down into your workbook and have it handy when you're doing calculations. And also, if you're really struggling, you can watch this video again, or I've even got Zoom classes, online Zoom classes. You can email me and I, we can, you can join and enroll for them. Um, but good luck with your tax calculations, and I really hope that you're going to nail it now and surprise your teachers how well you're doing.